Hello to everyone. In this video, I'm gonna explain you how to draw a table in a MATLAB. And also, I'm going to explain about certain other features. First of all, you need to write certain commands CLC, clear all, close all. These are the commands to clear the command window. Now, every table is having certain columns. So, first of all, you need to define the columns. The columns should be given certain names. So, here we are going to make a table with columns as height, age and weight. These are the information related to any particular students. So after defining the column, we can create a table. For that we are having a command UI table. Inside that we need to write column name and after that we need to write this call. Now we are going to run this program and see the output on command window. Now here you can see height is and weight blocks are there. Now if we can also define the rows in the similar way. For that you need to mention the name of those rows. Like for first row we are writing first here. For second row we are writing second and third row. For third row we are writing third. So make it comma. This is third. Now we need to modify this UI table parameters and add this uh, row name parameter to it. Row name comma row. Now we are going to see the output on the command window. Here you can see that first, second, third are the name given to the rows. Now after that you can also change the location of this entire block. For that you need to make use of the position command. Position after that in the square parenthesis you need to mention the position of this entire block. 20, 20, 360 and 100. Now see the output on the command window. Here you can see the position has been changed. Now if you want to put data inside this table for that you need to men mention the data like for one of the data we are writing height as 177 age as 21 and weight as 67 now we have defined all the three parameter for student A having height 177 age 21 and weight 67 so we need to modify this UI table parameters now. Write data and after that comma date. Now you can see the first number value has been changed. Now if you want to add data to all the three rows, we need to copy this and paste this twice. So now you change the values. First three value will be for first row, second three will be for second row and last three will be for the third row now i am modifying the values now run the program and see the output here you can see the entire table has been modified and we are able to implement the various operation on table now this is the normal view Now you can also change the width of the column for that you need to write column width and after that you need to write the value you want. Suppose here I want the width to be 60. So now you can see the width of the column has been changed. We can make it according to our needs. Thanks for watching.